G'day, Stephen Carey from OffTheGridNoz.com again. You wouldn't believe it. Yeah, the fire's going. Playing a bit of Simon and Garfunkel tonight. I'm still home alone because Kerry's not back till next Sunday, so... Yeah. Bit of quiet music. Small fire. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell you what. That's, um... <laughs> nearly touching the roof. But yeah, look, this is a Thursday night video. About an hour and a half ago, I thought, ah, stuff it, I'll go inside. Had the house fire going. I thought, yeah, just go inside, put some YouTube on, watch a couple of docos. And then I thought to myself, shit. I had a couple of thoughts on my mind today. And I, this is due to basically what we read on forums and face plant pages and stuff this issue of people who are aching to to go off grid aching to do something for themselves and i emphasize that it's it's not just off grid off grid's just such an easy term to say you know but no people who are aching to do something for themselves and i thought to myself bugger it so I actually fired the quaddy up in the dark. It's actually drizzling rain here. So me and Jess, are you flat out? Jess, say hello. No, Jess won't say hello. The cat's sitting there soaking the heat up. Yeah, the cat's flat out as well. But yeah, I was. I was sitting there thinking, ah, stop it. I'll just go fire the quaddy up, grab some sticks, and light the fire and make a video about what was on my mind. And what was on my mind was the amount of posts that you tend to see on all the off-grid related forums and face plan pages. And that is the, the people who are aching to do it, but, but just don't seem to be able to pull it off for whatever reason. And I know I've made videos on this before, but I thought to myself today, I actually went to the Big Smoke today. Oh, I digress. <laughs> yeah, I went to the Big Smoke. I had to go pick up some bits and pieces from Bunnings of all places. Ran into a guy there, and I don't know, I didn't actually get the guy's name. Actually recognised me from off the gridnoz.com videos, would you believe? So yeah, and I looked at him and I thought, it's truth, you know? Just a normal sort of a guy, nice guy. Didn't catch his name, and if, if you do watch this video, whoever you are, Feel free to comment. I'd like to know your name. I should have looked at your tag, but I was sort of so taken aback by someone spotting me in the street that really sort of anyway. But if you are the gentleman from the tool department in Bendigo, Bunnings, feel free to make a comment. Might pop over there and make a video in your store. <laughs> that scared the shit out of you. <laughs> anyway, that's I digress again. The point of this video is the people who are aching to get off grid constantly come up with the same questions, you know? Like we're saving or we're hoping or we're you know, planning five years in advance and things like that. And that's all very good. But the point I'd like to make is if you are really hell bent on lighting your own fire that just about catches the roof a lot, <laughs> If you're really hell-bent, you've really got to start somewhere. And I, I often wonder whether the people who are aching to go off-grid spend enough time on a quiet night, sitting there sipping their cup of tea, and thinking about the money they're spending on rent, or mortgage, or whatever, connected to the grid, all the outgoings. I'm just a poor boy. Simon and Garfunkel, you gotta love this. I'd like to turn it up, but I'm not. Uh, that's great for a, a quiet Thursday night, you know, Simon and Garfunkel. But yeah, these people who are sitting there pondering why they aren't off grid, when they're going to go off grid, and I don't just mean off grid, but like I said, I'd prefer to look at it as people who get off their butt and do something for themselves. Now, I actually made this statement to the gentleman in Bunnings, actually. 
you know we've got a lot of grandkids and yeah they hold jobs down and do all that stuff and it's all good to hold a job down and do all that stuff but if you really are seriously seriously if you want to go down the nine year road of Stephen Kerry or the myriad of other people that have been doing this off the grid stuff for a long long time if you really want to start that I thought to myself well maybe you maybe I need to approach this from a mathematical point of view <laughs> hey, I'm a builder I, I know how to read a ruler <laughs> actually I bought a tape measure from the gentleman at Bunnings today wish I knew his name but yeah from a mathematical point of view the, the money you're spending on rent the money you're spending on utility bills that will trap you and that's the point these people are trapped by the system yeah you probably should watch my other system videos the system's a bit of a bugger it will trap you and if you if you find yourself trapped you're going to automatically exclude things like scraping up one month's rent and buying an old camper van bringing up someone like Stephen Carey or anyone else that's got a property and starting your off-grid and I've said this before but I'm gonna say it again the money you can save by making the gutsy step to just jump just jump just pull the pin I actually use this word at Rosebud and if you've ever looked at Steve CBR classic which is my username on Facebook you'll see the abomination I built there ah, beautiful property I mean I spent two years building it but we literally pulled the pin on that I can't emphasize that enough we pulled the pin on a half million dollar property and sold it for nothing now this is not to say that you should do that or you're in that position but if you're paying rent and you want to get off the grid and you want to do something for yourself maybe you need to think outside the square maybe you need to make a gutsy move not worry about you and, and people think oh I can't do it because I've got to keep my job hey I work hey Steve works he's a plumber he's a builder I still work doesn't matter whether you you jump into a camper van and come and live on Steve's property or anyone else's property or park in someone's driveway park in your children's driveway park in your your brother's driveway or your sister's driveway you can still go to work but what you will be saving is that freaking rent see I nearly said the other word <laughs> but you will be saving that rent you need to start somewhere and you need to start quickly I hear all too often people who who just think that five years down the road is their plan Struth, I know what com the comfort zone is all about guys the comfort zone is a trap and yeah no one expects you to jump but not jump in five seconds but if you've been thinking about it for a year or two years maybe it's time to stop and do the math look for that camper van look for that camper trailer get onto a, all the face plant pages and the forums and look for someone who will accommodate you and still keep your job look in your area we're in central victoria in the highlands and i know we've got um, people that watch our videos that are only like 10k away there are people around that want to make this step they want to make this jump and they need a helping hand from people maybe like myself and Kerry who have been doing it for nine years or more nearly nine years but maybe they need a helping hand from people who are already doing it and that's my point I just would like to encourage people to to move a bit more quicker a bit more quicker that was good English wasn't it I'm gonna turn this up a bit this is a really good track you gotta like Simon and Garfunkel uh, beautiful on a Thursday night who said you can't have a quiet Thursday night I could have been inside I thought yeah to put the spew tube on like I said I thought nah stop it light the fire sit outside get my thoughts off my mind as I normally do Kerry's missing in action still bugged out but yeah look all right I'm gonna shut it down I'd just like to encourage people to start if you're not thinking 
that you are capable of making the jump to doing something for yourself. Think outside the square. You know, give people like me, myself and Kerry or anyone else in your particular region a call. See if you can chuck a camper on their site for a year. In that year, as far as rent goes, you'll save thousands. That will put the deposit together. Or maybe you might wind up liking the people you go stay with and they might like you to stay there. There's lots and lots of options, guys. I hate seeing these posts where people, they sound trapped. They, they've got the dream. There are so many people have the dream. You've got to start implementing the dream. You've really, and it might take a gutsy step. You might have to move out of your $1,500 a month flat that's got all the utilities connected. And you sit there on your, on your computer and you watch all the off-grid videos. And you go, yeah, I'd love to do that. Seriously, you've got to make that jump. You, you sort of got to get out of that comfort zone. You've got to dump the $500,000 Rosebud house. My own example. You, you do. And that's all I wanted to say. I just hope people, new people especially, who are aching to do this, they hear the, the passion in behind my words, you know. I, I just hate seeing people waste year after year. There are lots of interim steps you can make or take. We're talking about renting our flat out. We may do that, but if anyone came to me with a camper van or wanted to build their own tiny house on our 25 acres, I'm here to tell you, uh, myself and Kerry would probably say yes, and we would give them the opportunity to make the jump. Yeah, I know, you've got to be in Victoria in the Central Highlands probably to take that sort of opportunity up. But wherever you are, you know, there are people like myself and Kerry everywhere. You just need to get away from the TV, get away from the rent, get away from the burbs. Keep your job. Look for people in your region. Keep your job. We need money, as I, as I know. Like I said, I just went to the big smoke today and a uh, two-hour return drive to grab a couple of saber saw blades and a tape measure from this lovely gentleman in in Bunnings who actually recognized me from YouTube and that made me think that people do you know, he, he's not a subscriber he just watched it so people do watch this stuff and I would, would like to keep some positive thinking going <coughs> oh Jess is oh Jess you're awake <laughs> yeah guard dog anyway on a chilly Thursday night in Central Victoria in the Central Highlands it's Steve from OffTheGridNoz.com with Kerry still missing in action. Trying to throw some positivity out there. I just really get sort of a bit frustrated watching all the posts go up. Yeah, I'm not off grid yet. Planning for five years. Well, I'm going to say the word now. Fuck that. Fuck that. Five years, you know. I'd rather live in a freaking tin shed five years on a vacant block than stick rent in someone else's pocket or pay the utility bills i would rather cook on a fire like that and i know you you'll all go yeah stephen carey stephen carey yeah yeah we've got all this stuff right well we're nine years into it so or eight years all right heading to the ninth year you will work to that point but you need to start somewhere get away from the tv Tell your landlord, give him a phone call, tell him you've bought a camper van. Even if you park in the bush around your region, you'll sit there on the first night. You might buy a $500 solar panel from JCAR or somewhere. Charge your computer up, charge your phone up, and you'll light a fire, put a jacket on, and guess what? I guarantee you, you will be happy. And that's the bottom line. Until you make that jump, you won't know. Bugger waiting for the $30,000 deposit on the block of land. Who cares if you can't afford 50 acres in some Nirvana-styled utopia? Start somewhere. That's the point. Uh, Simon and Garfunkel are going on to another one. Anyway, I'll shut it down. Oh, sounds of silence.
Oh, come on. I hope the gentleman from Bunnings actually leaves a comment. I'd like to know your name. You caught me on the hop, son. I uh, sort of wasn't expecting it. I tend to bop around and say nothing. I keep to myself. So, yeah, leave a comment. I'd like to know your name. But guess what? The gentleman in Bunnings from Epping, Epsom, sorry. Me and Kerry go there regularly. Might make a video in Bunnings. <laughs> Anyway, we're Simon and Garfunkel, the sounds of silence. I've got to stoke the fire up. I'm going to crack myself another distilled water. It's a cold Thursday night. I'm not going inside. Stuff that. I love feeling the environment. I love feeling the air. I love feeling, even though this is you know, pretty, pretty well luxurious these days. I do feel a bit disgusting sometimes with the property we've built here has a lot of stuff. You know. uh, it's not as good as a lot of people's off grid, but to us it's luxury, and that makes me feel a little bit, little bit humble. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up. This is what I do when Kerry's not here. The sounds of silence. That's what you all want to hear from me. Subscribe and like if you want. You know the drill. We like a thumbs up. We'll catch you on the next one when Carrie comes back. Probably won't make another one till then. I still haven't finished her, her library. <laughs> yeah. I've been working on it, but yeah, yeah, you know what it's like. No, another few days on that one. So subscribe and like if you want. Catch us on offthegridnoz.com. You want any advice, want a bit of help, give us a call. And the gentleman in Bunnings will be able to see you soon. <laughs> scary thought <laughs> and that's it for me and in, by default that's it from Kerry and it's it from Jess and the cat and we actually got four more ah, five more chooks <laughs> so we got nine chooks now yeah right <laughs> anyway guys I'm out that's it we'll catch you on the next one hope your day was positive hope you're thinking positive Remember, tomorrow's another day. Take a positive step in the right direction. Might be a gutsy move. I can just encourage you to do it. I'm out, guys. Bye. <laughs>